Hello guys and welcome to my channel. Alright, this video is not going to be um, about Fusion 360. It's going to be about Inventor. And this video is for you guys who are in the woodworking industry and are using Inventor to design uh, cabinetry. Alright. And also um, have a whole back and wiki CNC machine to make your parts and want to know um, if you can if you can turn this into an NPR file using um, Inventor. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right. Um, all right. This part right here is just um it's just a template, just um, a ring uh, template for the welder in the shop. All right and see the size of the part so 46 by 57 and by three quarters okay and the ring um is 32 inches in diameter so let me show you that okay all right okay so this mo this was mo i modeled this in inches um for me to turn this into an NPR file, I'm gonna have to turn this in, um, change the document settings to a metric before I go to uh, the CAM workspace. All right, let's go to tools, document settings, go to a units tab, and where it says length, drop it down to millimeter, click apply, just close it. All right, now this is metric. Let's check it out. All right. Okay, let's go to um, Cam Workspace. And I'm gonna create a new setup. This is very, this is, this is very similar to um, Fusion 360. All right. Uh, okay, the setup. You can expand this if you want. Uh, it wants me to select the z-axis. It's going to be um, top face here. See how the arrow just flipped. Uh, the x is going to be this edge here. And the stock point. You got to click on it, right? So you see the, all the points um, on the workpiece. All right. So I'm going to select this stock point here. And that's the WCS, all right? And the model is already selected for me. All right, uh, stock. These are dimensions here, all right? In metric. I'm not adding any stock. And if you get a part bigger than this, all right, and then you, then you will add the, you know, um, you will add the stock here. You will add more stock. Say the part. Let's say this part is not really um, three quarters. A little less, like let's say like twenty three thirty seconds, which is which is like eighteen point five millimeters. And then right here, you can with this top offset, you can um, you can minus, you know, whatever you have to minus. All right. Let's say this is not it's not it's not nineteen millimeters. Nineteen point uh, zero five millimeters is let's say it's eighteen. Then you will do it here, right? You you type you know minus one. See the now see see the um, the height um, on the Z. It's, it's, it's you know it's eighteen point zero five millimeters, right? This is where you would do that. We get um the thickness of the part is not really three quarters of an inch. It's, it's less, right? Let's put it back to zero. Oops. Okay, let's go. All right, uh, post process is where you can name the program. Uh, it's gonna be 32 underscore inch ring underscore template. And this is where you can put a program comment. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be using a half inch Uh, two flute down cut. All 
this is this is very helpful. This is very um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. This is very helpful, um, uh, especially for like the operator. Let's say you you're just doing the programming in the office. You're not running the machine. This is you know this is really helpful for um, for the operator. So you tell what uh, what ML uh, he he or she has to use, right? Because uh, you can program this part with a three quarter inch ML, and then uh, the operator you you for, you can you forget to tell operator what ML to use, right? And the operator uses a half inch. Oh yeah, I'm gonna be using a half inch ML, and then um, he will run, he he will run the, he or she will run the part on the machine. And the part is not going to be it's not going to be the same, right? It's, it's going to it's going to be it's going to have a different diameter, right? Because it's, it's going to be using a half inch uh, uh, ML at a three quarter inch ML that, that that you use to program the part. Okay, so this this is right here is very it's very very helpful, right? <clears throat> okay, all right. So um, click OK. Okay, now my setup has been <clears throat> has been created. Uh, next, uh, I'm gonna use a 2D pocket. I'm gonna select the tool. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Wiki CNC Machine Tool Library. This is an old library I have. Uh, I don't have the new one, um, the new updated one that I use in uh, Fusion and Fusion 360. This is this small one. Um, I don't really use Inventor at work. I'm a, I'm a Fusion 360 guy, all right? Uh, so I'm gonna grab a, a half, in, um, half inch end mill, the down cut, all right? I'm gonna select the tool and the spindle speed looks good. Um, you can change to 16,000 RPM, 18,000 RPM. All right, I'll, this is the way I have it set up. Uh, next tab is the geometry. I'm gonna select. I'm, I'm gonna select this face here. <clears throat> all right. Uh, the height tab. All right. Uh, under bottom height. Uh, CO says uh, bottom offset says um, minus one millimeter. I'm not cutting through the material. So this is gonna be zero. All right. I'm only go. I'm I'm only I'm only going down now. Uh, Quarter of an inch. All right. Um, next tab is passes, and all right. I don't need any multiple depths, so I'm gonna uncheck that. All right, and the compensation is gonna be left. All right, and linking the um, uh, leading layout. Um, I'm, I'm gonna uncheck this. All right, and uh, ramp type. You um, I'm going to use a zigzag, and I'm not changing anything here. I'm just going to click OK so you can see the tool path. Oh, no path is selected to machine. Oh, I didn't select the, the face. There you go. Okay, let's click OK. There's a tool path. All right. Yes, uh, I'm going to simulate it. Right click, simulate. Okay, stock is checked. Okay, I want to see the stock. See it turns green. All right, and, uh, I'm gonna play it. Okay. All right, if you don't want to see the toolpath, you can uncheck it here. All right, so let's post process this part. All right, so I'm gonna right click, select the uh, 2D pocket, right click, post process. Okay, you have, as you see, as you can see here, I have um, the wood wire post processor. All right. Okay, and it's gonna go to this folder here. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna post it. It is, this is uh, the old uh, well, post processor. I gotta get the new one here, uh, the one uh, that I use in Fusion 360. Okay, so uh, 
next video I make, all right, um, using Inventor, I'm going to have the newest post processor, all right? So let's post this. Okay, I'm going to save it to that folder. And this is the G code, all right? Okay. Okay, let's open up that program. I'm going to go to that folder. Okay, let's right click. Okay, let's go to that folder. Let's open it up in Woodwalk. Okay. Okay, so I guess I'm, I got three lightning bolts here. That's because in the variable box, see how the, um, the letters are in capital, and here in the on the pro in, in the pro uh, the process part box, they're not in capital, all right. So it's gonna be capital L, all right, W and T, okay. All right, so um, but uh, all right, <clears throat> there's the program, guys. Um, this is um, you can use Inventor, you can use uh, Fusion 360 to convert any, convert any file into MPR files for your home Mac and Wiki CNC machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. All right, if you have any questions, uh, just leave them uh, down below. All right. I'm gonna make uh, more Inventor um, videos as well as Fusion 360 videos. All right. All right so um, have a nice day and check you on the next one. Peace.